Hey guys, Mr. A here. Welcome to part two of how to do the Infinity Gauntlet. This episode, we're going to show you where to put the stones in the right spot in the Infinity Gauntlet. All right, let's get started, guys. First of all, we're going to do the time stone. The time stone goes here. So what we're going to do, boys and girls, we're going to take a green marker and we're going to color in the time stone. So the time stone is green. It goes right there. Next, we have the purple stone. The purple stone goes right here. So we have the purple stone. Next, we have the blue stone. And remember, the blue stone was where the tesseract was. The blue stone was inside the tesseract. And that has to do with time space rather it has to do with space so here's time I believe this is power and this is space then we had the red stone which I believe was the reality stone so here's the red stone then we have the orange stone and since I don't have orange what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix two primary colors I'm gonna mix yellow and I'm going to mix red to make orange. So yellow and red make orange. All right, so we'll put a little bit more yellow in there. So that's orange. And then last but not least, this one right here. All right. So you have the green stone, the purple stone, the blue stone, the red stone, the yellow stone, the, sorry, the orange stone. Let's do this again. Green, purple, blue, red, orange, and yellow. And remember guys, all the stones are in each one of the knuckles. So if you look at my knuckles here, purple, blue, red, orange. We have the yellow stone here. And we have the green stone where the knuckles are. Now another thing we gotta do guys, we have to color it in. So, I'm gonna get one of my trusty twistable crayons and we're gonna color, <coughs> color it in. So I'm just gonna lightly color it in like this. This is very, very light. You have to color in your infinity stone infinity gauntlet gauntlet is another word for glove and if you look at the old knights in the medieval ages the knights had gauntlets or metal gloves and when a knight wanted to challenge another knight to a duel what he would do was he would take the gauntlet off and he'd throw it down so basically what Thanos is doing he's taking this gauntlet and throwing it down as a challenge so the next time you're in school, I know schools will get ready to, to, um, to end, but well, next time you go to school in September, and then if you're in social studies, ask the teacher to study about knights and what knights would do. And a gauntlet is a metal glove, and they would take the metal glove and throw it on the ground in front of their opponent to challenge them to a duel. So basically, Thanos is challenging the Avengers to a duel. That's how this whole thing started. So, there's a little bit of history. The cool thing about comic books, comic books rely a lot on history, social studies, and things like that. So here's your Infinity Gauntlet right here. If you want to, you can add some, some bling to it. See what I'm doing? So there you go guys, Infinity Gauntlet, with the stones in the right place. Now this is the movie version of the Infinity Gauntlet. The comic book version, the stones are in different places. But this is the movie version, the Marvel Cinematic Universe version. So this is the movie version. If you want to check out the comic book version, check the comic book version out. In the comic books, get the Infinity Gauntlet comic book and you can check it out on your own. But this is the movie version. So remember, the green stone, the purple stone, the blue stone, the red stone, 
the orange stone, the yellow stone. And remember guys, there are stones in every knuckle. Green, purple, blue, orange, I mean red and orange, okay? All right, so there you go guys. The Infinity Gauntlet, study about knights and how they used to challenge people, throw down the gauntlet. You know, you can read that over the summer. Over the summer, guys, I'm going to do a couple more videos. I'll be doing summer art camp. But in between that, I'm going to do a video on how to draw Ant-Man. One on how to draw Spider-Man. And a real easy way to draw Venom. You can still make him scary. So, Mr. A, over and out. I'll see you guys. And remember, guys, put the stones in the right spot. Mr. A, over and out.